Natalie and Callie tell me they had no idea all of this was going to blow up and they would get so much attention. But after they came out on this field and played their first game, they were hooked. Now they're permanent members of the football team. People say it's a sport designed for men, but women can do just as much as men can. High school seniors Natalie Davis and Callie Ramsey grew up on the softball field, their team known as the Mighty Eight. But Friday, they swapped out their bats for pads when the Weewoka Tigers were short football players. The game against the Mounds Eagles almost got sidelined. Our AD was walking the halls asking people and we heard and we was like, we'll play. I was overwhelmed with their selfless sacrifice. Canceling a game on home game on Friday night would just be detrimental to our community. So the girls suited up and hit the gridiron to practice with the boys. So I was nervous. We was just running all over the place. And when the fans filled up the seats Friday, it was game on. Running out of the tunnel was the best part for me. Yeah. Like, it just started up a new adventure for us. It was exciting. And not only did the girls hold their own, they showed their claws. Natalie even put her punting skills on display. The first kickoff, it wasn't very good, but after my nervous failing was gone, it was, it was good. She even got a tackle in. I just closed my eyes and hope for the best. <laughs> and after the shining moment under the Friday night lights, they say they'll be back on the field. Haters are going to hate, but if that's what you want to do and you put your heart to it, just go out there and do it. Yeah, go do it. Give it your all. They're fully part of the team. There's no distinction between them. And we woke at Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. She closed her eyes and hoped for the best. Uh, uh. The other team didn't know they were facing girls until they started playing. They even congratulated and thanked them.